T-Roy was a respected O-Block member who was also King Von's right hand man. He might have only been 5 foot 1, but he was a top shooter who was feared throughout the city. Let's take a look at the life and criminal history of T-Roy. T-Roy was born and raised in Parkway Gardens, better known as O-Block, which is one of the most dangerous areas in the city and ran by the Black Disciples. T-Roy also had four brothers, Slutty, HK, Zell, and Eli, and also a sister named Asia. T-Roy was popular in his hood and known for being a fighter. Even though he was smaller than most of the other dudes in O-Block, he had a lot of heart and earned his respect by never backing down from anyone. But T-Roy ain't really start going hard in the streets till Odie Perry died in 2011. OD was a high ranking member from Wick City, which was later named O Block. He got chipped in August 2011 while riding his bike on the 400 block of E64th Street. He was so respected in his hood that after his death, Wick City changed their name to O Block to honor his memory. Ever since, Parkway Gardens has been called O Block, which you can hear referenced in songs by King Von and Chief Keith. No one was ever arrested for killing OD Perry. But streets say it was a female shooter from the STL EBT set of the Gangster Disciples named KI. KI was close to another GD named Tuka, who was murdered a few months earlier. Tuka became famous after he died for being the most disrespected name in rap history after Chicago drill music went viral. So many think OD's death was payback for the murder and constant dissing of Tuka. OD's death had a major impact on both T Roy and King Von, who was two of OD's closest friends. After he died, they started planning their revenge. At that time, Vaughn was already a well-respected shooter, so he taught T-Roy how to do drills and turned him into a savage. On April 28, 2012, a man named Marlon Monroe was found dead in an abandoned lot in the Woodlawn neighborhood. His family said that since the area was overgrown with weeds, his body was left there for hours before being found. He was painting his auntie house nearby, but got thirsty and walked to the store. While he was walking down the block, a shooter popped out and started letting off shots, killing Monroe. A 16-year-old relative found his body hours later on the 6300 block of South St. Lawrence Avenue. Monroe had just gotten out of prison after doing a bid for stealing cars. His fam said he got his GED while he was locked up and was trying to get his painter's license. Monroe was also known as Doc or Baby Doc and was from STL EBT. Supposedly, t word was the shooter and took out Doc as revenge for the death of OD. But t word ain't stopped there and kept knocking off his ops one by one. T-Roy caught his next body in November 2012 by taking out a top-ranking member of STL EBT named Boss Trail. Boss Trail was a GD member who was known to be a shooter. He's rumored to be behind the murder of a respected O-Block member named Sheroy Liggins who was killed earlier that year. But he started getting tired of the gang lifestyle and wanted a change. Another STL EBT member moved to Iowa to get away from the streets and Boss Trail was planning on doing the same. He already purchased a bus ticket and was supposed to leave on the day he was killed but he pushed his trip back a day to try and patch things up with his ex-girlfriend. This became a fatal mistake. He went to an alley, expecting to meet his girl, but instead found T-Roy waiting for him. Around 6.50 a.m., police found Boss Trail dead with a gunshot wound to the head. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but later pronounced dead. Boss Trail's death was a major loss to STL EBT, and this quickly made T-Roy one of their most hated ops and one of the most respected members of o Block. But T Roy was on a killing spree and kept going after STL EBT and any of the ops he can get his hands on. His next victim was a dude named Stunner from the Su Wu TBB set of the Black Peace Stones. On June 9th, 2013, Stunner was driving down the expressway near 71st Street in Grand Crossing. Around 1 a.m., another car pulled up on him and started dumping shots. Stunner and a woman who was sitting in the front seat were both shot and rushed to the hospital. The woman and a third person in the car survived, but Stunner died. Rumors say it was T-Roy and Boss Money who was in the whip that fired the shots and killed Stunner. But a few months later, T-Roy lost another close homie in his deadly beef. On September 2013, O-Block's J Money got killed after being set up by a female. According to rumors, a girl convinced J Money to come to Draw City's hood, a set that's allied with STL EBT. When he got there, he saw the ops waiting for him and immediately knew it was a setup but he didn't get away fast enough and got shot in the head and body multiple times. J Money been dissed in several songs by members of STL EBT, including FBG Wooski and the song Computers. So many believe they were somehow involved. J Money's death made T-Roy and other members of O-Block thirsty for revenge and it ain't take long before they got their get back. On April 11th, 2014, Jakara Barnes, AKA KI, was murdered down while walking to a friend's house. KI was the female assassin supposedly behind killing Odie Perry and was one of O-Block's biggest ops. 
She was active on social media, dissing Jay Money after he got murdered. On the day she got killed, she revealed her location on Twitter, which is a bad move in Chirac. While she was walking down the 6400 block of South Eberhard Ave with her homie FBG Butter, a hooded gunman popped out and started letting off shots, hitting KI nine times in the jaw, neck, and chest. She was rushed to the hospital, but died later that day. It's rumored that King Von was the shooter behind KI's death. The Chicago Police Department later released records that Vaughn was the main suspect in the investigation, but the DA ain't pursued the case because of lack of evidence. It's also rumored that t Roy was with Vaughn that day and helped lay her down, but other sources say he was locked up on the day of KI's murder. Either way, KI's death was a huge loss for STL EBT and it only heated up the war between the two sets. After evening the score for OD and J Money, t Roy slowed down in the streets due to legal problems. In April 2014, he got pulled over for not stopping at a stop sign. When police searched him, they found an unlicensed gun and also realized he had a warrant out for his arrest. For that, he ended up getting locked up. This was around the same time that his right-hand man, King Von, got locked up for killing Malcolm Stuckey. So, T-Roy started doing whatever he could to get his boy out of jail, including flipping drugs and hitting licks. But he got locked up again in November 2016 for criminal trespassing and did some more time in Cook County Jail. Then, on February 15, 2017, T-Roy was shot and killed after getting cornered. On the day he got killed, T-Roy was out looking for a rapper named TB, who was from Taekwon World, a GD set. TB was known for dissing O Block in his music, and T-Roy was tired of the disrespect, so he went into off territory solo to find TB. While he was out, he was spotted by FBG Brick, the older brother of FBG Duck. STL EBT and Taekwon World is cool with each other. So Brick called TB and gave him the drop on T-Roy's location. T-Roy ended up going into the store on 71st Street, but as he was leaving, he was stopped by TB, who had a gun. Supposedly, before getting shot, T-Roy just smiled and said, you got me. He tried to pull his gun, but wasn't fast enough and got shot in the chest. T-Roy was a beloved O Block member who's been shouted out in a lot of songs. After he died, O Block members mourned his passing on Twitter, including Chief Keef, Lil Reese, and Dirk. His boy King Von later hopped on live and told the story about the day he found out that T-Roy died. T-Roy's brother HK was also a member of O Block and went after Taekwon World to get payback for his brother's death. After T-Roy died, HK formed the infamous Get Back Gang and promised to serve revenge to everyone involved. Before T-Roy got killed, HK wasn't really a shooter, but this pushed him off the edge and turned him into a savage. First, he went after a dude named Poppy who was from Taekwon World. Poppy had allegedly killed another O Block member, so he was HK's first target. Then, he went after FBG Brick, the dude that gave TB the drop on his brother. Allegedly, he and a bunch of other BDs caught Brick and his cousin Kobe Mac lacking and chased him into an alley and killed both of them. HK's final body was TB, the dude who killed his brother, T Roy. So, one by one, HK got revenge on the people tied to his brother's death, and HK got killed a few weeks later. On November 24, 2017, HK got shot in both the legs and stomach and died later that day. Sadly, HK ain't the only one of T-Roy's brothers to die at an early age. In 2020, his brother Slutty got killed in Atlanta with King Von. The following year, Zell took his own life and was later found to be involved in the murder of FBG Duck. T-Roy was a beloved member of O Block and his memory will live on in the music of the Chicago drill legends he grew up with. But he was a product of his environment and became a victim to the cycle of violence that's constantly taking lives in Chicago. RIP to everyone mentioned in this video who lost their life.